Hello and welcome back to Yukuma Village. This is MH Geek here and today we are going to be talking to many many people because there's so many speech bubbles after the last quest. So yeah, she's gonna give us uh, more items I hope? Do you wanna give us more items? Uh, book of combos? Okay, yep, that will be helpful. Um, level 2 recovery shots, thank you for stocking up the stuff. Very very much appreciated. So right now, oh, Jan Moran info. Well, well, I'll just get it. Okay. Well, main thing is I need to get um more power coatings, close range coatings, empty files. I have enough of them, so not to worry. And yeah, this seems about right. During oh mega oh I can buy mega pickaxe and mega bug 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 nets now. Okay. So yeah, moving on. So we are about to face against the Gen Moran And now we're just, you know, preparing some stuff here and there So have you heard of the Gen Moran? It's known as the Mountain Peak Dragon And it's quite giant, yes definitely And so, it's a symbol of fertility and prosperity apparently But large amounts of sightings have begun to flood in Ooh, so uh -huh, We have to bring down one of these big guys So, yeah Let's just, you know get ready to do an epic thing okay so first off um, I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff I don't need against fighting this guy which is probably oh no bug nets but we need the pickaxes bombs I'm not so sure but I'll just take it just in case um, sleep coatings will not work on him so no point power coatings close range coatings yes might see a demon seed yes I would also like to bring what is that called? More nitro shrooms. Yes, more nitro. Where are they? Nitro shrooms. Nitro shrooms. So uh, I can craft more on the fly. Although it's only ten of them. So I would also like to bring me book of combos along. Why? Because um, they increase the combination success rates. As simple as that. Last but not least, I would like to go to the hot springs and get more damage boosts. So. Just a little heads up for you guys. Basically, um, ooh, let's. See, uh, she doesn't have anything for me. Oh, there's someone here that has a speech bubble. I've got a feeling it's gonna be the same thing as the shop lady in the other, the other place. So yeah, pretty much. Oh wait, did I? Uh, I didn't check the monster this thing for Jen Moran. Oh wells, never mind. Let's just skip that. So, Jen Moran is gonna be a really, really beefy monster. It's not gonna be easy to take him down. And in the village quest, all you actually have to do is just to um, chase him away. So right now, I want as in, it's it's not as easy as it seems. So I'm just gonna go for all the attack that I can get out of this. This guy is he's he really has a ton of health, and you actually have access to the ballista and cannons, which you will see soon, and those are pretty fun. He's also weakest to Ice and Dragon, if I remember correctly. And there are certain sweet spots that you can hit on him that, um, you know, does a little bit more damage. Yeah, there we go, the Desert Feast. Slay the Gen Moran. He gives quite a bit of money as well, so, as in completing the quest, yeah, gives quite a bit of money, so. Here we go. It's quite an interesting fight. The first time I fought him, it was quite an experience. So, before anything, let's go and uh, the stairs, grab um, the stuff. Ballista ammo, sure. Ballista binder, dragon bombs, large bombs. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, there's uh, power coatings here as well. Darn. Ah, uh, I mean, yay. That's gonna be useful, surely. So, here we go. This is the huge ship that we're on. There's a. Uh, the ship actually has some health. Yeah. And so, you can. Uh, you can get as in the ship can get destroyed by this huge dude that just popped out of the sand sea, the sea of sand, or the sand sea. I don't know what you want to call it. So yeah, his huge tusk can uh you know seriously ram and damage the ship, and the ship can actually get destroyed, and that means you fail the quest. So naturally, you can protect the ship using a variety of ways. Actually, not really a variety of ways, mainly two ways, and uh. Stay alive, and yeah, that's all I can say, stay alive and kill him. So, first up, 
I would like to. I, I can't actually pick up any more of those but this time ammo, so where is he gonna come out from? I'm gonna get really my might seat because um, when I get a chance to get on board him, yes, you can actually get on board the freaking huge whale shark. I mean, whale shark, whale, sand whale. Yeah, you can actually get on board him and uh, do damage. So I'm just gonna, you know, try and shoot at his tusks. So, yep, as you can see, I'm aiming slightly higher because, oh my gosh, no, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that was close. Yeah, he does that. He's annoying. So I'm trying to aim for his tusks because they can actually be broken. And I'm aiming higher because for obvious reasons, gravity is somehow, um, you know, having an effect in this game. So I might miss this one. Oh, I got it. Okay, so that's great. Uh, whoa, my cats are helping, so that's nice. Uh, hit. Yep, that's a nice hit. Oh, oh, is he going to do stuff? Yep, he's going to throw more rocks. So I'm just going to scoot aside. Ah, go away, Delix. You're annoying. So yeah, those um, Delixes, basically, in the ecology, they sort of follow Jan Moran around, picking up after what Jan Moran leaves behind, like the scraps and stuff. So I believe this is my last shot. Oh, I broke it already. Yay. Just going to grab more of these. So yeah. Wow, you know, this long, arduous fight is... Uh, oh my gosh, get out of the way, get out No, 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 get away! Ouch! Uh, my gosh. Well, this long fight is going on, I should just, you know... Um, make a tiny little announcement, and that would be that... Um, sad to say, but... Really, my schoolwork has been really taxing on me. So, it, it's really getting quite hard for me to continuously make videos throughout. And I feel like, for my first ever series to have gone this far, I feel quite satisfied really. Uh, oh, oh, he's gonna do something, he's gonna do something. He is, alright, time to do the gong! Yeah! So, basically, I just smacked the gong, so it makes a huge loud sound which flinches him. Pretty much just like how all sand-dwelling monsters have this weakness against loud sounds. Loud sounds, I mean like, you know, huge, ah, you get the idea. Like the... The Diablos is one. Oh, okay. I, I need to climb on him. You see the arrow there? Yep, that's where you go. I made it. I made it. I actually made it. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Stop it, Jamaran. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, as you can see, there's this little thing over here. Yeah, that's his weak spot, sort of. Although I need to really code the power codings. So, it's. Oh, he's wiggling. Ouch! That's not good. So, yeah, um. In all honesty, I don't recommend you fight Jan Moran with a bow. For a very simple reason. He wiggles around a lot, it's hard to aim. And much... Oh my god, oh my god, you are a complete fat... Will. Annoying fat will. So, yeah, you have to climb your way back up to the ship. It's kind of annoying and... Uh, uh -huh. Anyway, going back onto the main topic, um, why don't use a bow against him? I mean, yeah, the amount of area, surface area that you can get to aim to hit him is really quite low. Um, I got a feeling he's actually whacking the ship right now, but I can't do much about it, I'm not sure. Um, well, in any case, just gonna pop all of these. Um, yeah. So, you can use the, the, these things, you know, to hit him and stuff, but I'm gonna save that for later because I want to break his other task, so I'm just gonna just... Oh, oh, he's, he's, he's squirming, he's squirming. That means he's gonna shake, shake people off. Uh, but in any case, just gonna... Yep, if I were on him at that point, he would uh, shake me off. So, I'm gonna... His arms can be broken, so I'm gonna try working on that. You can do that with the ballista, you can do that with the cannonballs, but I mean, well, since I have this power coatings might as well. You can also break the weak spots that I mentioned before on his back. There's one right there that I'm looking at but I can't shoot it because it's way too far. And uh, I'm going to have to prepare to use the binder. Nope, he's uh, just going to leap over, nothing much. So I'm just going to pick up more ballistas. So this is not in any way the optimal way of fighting him. I'm just doing this the way that I, I'm used to. I have as far as I can remember. So you can pick up 10 Ballista Ammos at any one time, so I'm just gonna do that right now. As you can hold a max of 10. Yeah, so that's 8, 9, and where is he going? 
10. Okay, the hunting gun is ready to be used. That's great. Oh, oh, I think I know what's he up to. I think I know. I got a very good idea of what's he up to. So I better prepare for this. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. He's gonna charge head first right into the shit and... Nope! Not gonna let him do that. So, one of the best things to follow up from this is just to simply either go cannonball his face or, you know, shoot him in the task with the ballistas. Uh, or not miss like that. His weak, one of his weakest spots is actually inside his mouth. So if you can get some shots in there, that's a bonus as well, surely. So he will keep aging towards the ship like this and give you a chance to board him as- Oh my god, the freaking Dilix! Board him as well, but before that I'm just going to- Oh my gosh, no 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 no! Gong 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 gong! Ah, too late! Oh dear, that utter hurt. Actually that did hurt. So basically, um, he just swept his tusks right over the ship. Right through the ship, whatever. I don't know, don't care. But yeah. Ah, uh, just gonna fire this cannon because I can. Uh, whoa, we hit him on the back. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I'm just gonna board him. Ugh. Okay, and there are these mining veins on his back that you can mine, which is um, great for you to get some of his materials. Uh, yep, so freebies, why not? Wow, there's a lot of veins actually. There's like another one over on the other side. Oh my god, he's wiggling. He's wiggling. Whoa! So generally when he wiggles, it means he's trying to shake you off. So yeah. Alright, what I would like to do now is try and break one of his weak spots to demonstrate. But uh, it's difficult, honestly, with a bow. Especially, it's, it's easier if you use a... Oh god, oh god, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just going to move down a bit so it's not so scary. It's easier if you use a pierce bow because it just shoots straight down his spine. Yep. Not that it's impossible with like a rapid bow or anything, it's just something you might have to, you know, find a little bit more difficulty dealing, doing, I mean, meh. To be honest, this is actually my first time trying out with a rapid bow. I've actually never succeeded with a pierce bow either, so... <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh no, he, he, wait, it didn't break, he just flinched. What? You, you, you cheated my feelings. Jen Moran, you cheated my feelings. Because he usually flinches when you break it, so... I just got lied to by the Jen Moran right here. As you can see, I'm actually getting quite far away from the ship. He's bound to shake me off soon. Okay, he's... he's uh, I'll just jump off. Save myself some damage. I'm not so sure, actually, if that was the right choice. But it's been done. So. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot! The dragon bombs! Yes, you can actually put a dragon bomb. Oh my gosh, the cats are doing work. I saw that explosion. Some way, somehow. So. Yeah, oh, not to mention I can grab this as well. So. Why not? Okay, the dragon bombs are bombs specific for putting on to this guy. Like, oh my god, what, what, I, what are you up to? Oh shit! Oh wow, I actually rolled through that. Not bad. Go me. <laughs> that was not intentional, but sure, why not? Is he gonna let me climb onto him again? Oh, never mind, I broke his task. So, yay, shoot you in the mouth. Bam. Another one? Do you wanna eat another of these? Uh, maybe not, but uh... There's another thing you can do with the bombs, just, you know, place it right here. I should be using this bomb spider. Oh, freak. No! I hate you! Why must you do that? Why must you do that? I'm gonna blow your face with this. Come on. There we go. I do need to heal up though, this is getting a bit risky. So yeah, you can actually just use the bombs like that and blow up his face. It would help very much a lot in uh, when trying to break his tusks. So right now, I believe he's going into his third phase. Like phase 1 is on the on this side, phase 2 is on this side, and phase 3 is from the front, if I remember correctly. So how do you know it's going to come up from the front? Very simple, if it doesn't come up from the sides and you hear the sound, which just happened, I was talking way over it, yeah, so he's coming from the front. So I'm right now on the very front of the ship. I think it's called the Helm or something. Oh my god, he's launching rocks. Oh my god, nope, nope, dodge, run. 
There we go. So this has a quite a peculiar and timing on it. Like because this thing in the front here is called the Dragonator, it's it's really the big thing. It, it, it takes time to charge. So first jump and hit it. There we go. Oh my I mean I'm too late! But I did hit him. Yeah, as you can tell I'm pretty rusty with this, so I am sorry. Ouch, okay, thank you, cat. So the Dragonator does a huge ton of damage to it. And it will bring him back to phase 2 or 1, depending on the situation. But in any case, I'm going to try and break that thing on his back because I like it. Oh, I missed it. A little bit to the left. There we go. Can we break it? Nope. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me break it. No, oh, I ran off. Ballista ammo. Gonna have to grab more. Oh, wait, wrong side. Wrong side. So the Dragonator has a super long cooldown, unlike the Hunting Gong and the Ballista Cannon. Uh, Ballista Cannon meaning this this one, the Ballista Binder, I'm sorry. So I'm, I have no idea where it's going to come out from right now. Oh, final showdown. That's a... Uh, yay. So this is the final showdown. The Dragonator, is it, the Dragonator will always be ready to use at this point. Will always be ready to be used, yes. So... Um, final Shona is essentially when you, you know, face him, face off with him like this, as in for you, if you have fought with. Is he up in for you? No, that's in that's Darren Moran. Yeah, but um, same thing. It's pretty much the same fight, just a little bit, you know, fighting the, the cousin maybe whatever blah. So I'm not sure what I can do right now, but I'll just try and shoot him with the... Oh, wow, that's that really fell short quite a lot. There we go. I hit him in the belly. So his belly and his mouth are quite weak. Um, quite sweet spots that you should aim for if you actually get to fight him. And... Yeah, sadly I just didn't manage to break his spine, which is really one of the key fun parts of fighting him, really. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, oh, he's gonna shoot rocks. He's gonna shoot rocks. Oof, there we go. Bam. Gonna go and pick up more of these ballistas. Uh, there's only two of them in my inventory right now, so I'm just gonna wait for him to get a bit closer before I actually, you know, hit towards him. And, f you know, I have this huge Goliath versus the, the little boy kind of duel. Um, he's gonna shoot rocks again, isn't he? Ah, oh, darn him. So, sometimes they don't hit you, but I personally just like to, you know, take the safe route. And, uh, what, what's he... Oh, you see... What... What in the world are you doing, boy? Um, he fell over. So, okay, yay. I'm just gonna take the chance and get close to him. Um, in fact, that isn't exactly the best idea either, because... I mean, it isn't exactly the worst idea, but you can actually go inside his mouth to carve. Extra carves. But I'm not going to be able to make it in time, so I'm just going to take the chance to go and shoot him. Uh, which, yeah. So, if you, were, if you are still in his mouth when he gets up, you will take damage. Oh dear, what are you up to? Oh, he's going to roar? Do a body slam? What is he doing? Yep, some kind of body slam. Uh, it does quite a bit of amount of damage to the ship, but um, yeah. Let me just see what I can do about this guy. I want to break his arm, cause his break. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Not gonna let you smack me. I want to break his arm. I want to break his arm. Oh my gosh. I missed. Nope, he missed me too. The sand particle effects are probably gonna screw up the frame rate of this video so bad. I'm so sorry, really. There's nothing much I can do about this. Just gonna avoid the rocks in case they come here. Ah, this guy is huge, isn't he? What a wondrous beast. You just gotta think like, how long has this guy been alive for? Like, wow, to grow up to this size. I mean, unless they grow really, really fast, then I have nothing to say. But judging by how slow it moves, um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Broke his arm. Too bad, unlike in the 4U version, in, in 4U, you, you can't really climb up on this guy. So, sad face. 
Just gonna pop a ration, grab a might seed, and uh, yeah, why not? Just put the bomb right here. See if he actually steps onto it. Oh, not not quite, but just you know a bit of damage. That's a bit too high, a bit off critical distance. He's starting to get really. He's not actually that close to the ship yet, but. As you can see, his every step is quite huge, so even though it's slow, it comes quite a big distance. Oh my god, I'm scared. Nah, I'm, I'm not scared for me or me dying or what. I'm scared of the ship getting wrecked. Because that means my mission will fail too. So, I don't think he can reach the ship with that. Uh, yeah, he can't. Quite close though. I'm not hitting critical distance either. Am I? Am I not? I'm not sure. He's backing off. Ha! You weakling! Uh, oh wait, okay, I'm sorry, I take that back! Move backwards! Don't go to my ship! Leave my ship alone! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to really... Get to the ship and... Oh! Yes, I remember now, I can Dragonator him! Like, uh... Um, never mind. I'll just hunt. Oh! Ouch! You deserve a Dragonator, right up the face. No que- come on, move it. No questions about it, go, whack it. Wham! There we go, oh wow, he actually died. He actually died. Okay. I was not expecting that, but he actually died. So first thing, straight away, head to his mouth and cough. Remember to squat down and cough. Squat down, yes, whatever. But the thing is, um... You can carve actually from his mouth um, three times, and then from his body another four times, or okay, maybe not, maybe more than that. Four times from his mouth, okay, four times from his mouth. And then, um, immediately head towards his body, inside the body, yep, there we go. Another three to four times. So this is one, two, and um, three, I'm just spamming the circle button right now. <laughs> And four. There we go. So there. I wasn't really expecting to kill him, but um, surprisingly I did. Because the quest is actually to... Uh, yeah, slay him. Or repel it. So, if I'm not wrong, he's automatically repelled when the time is up in the village quest. And only the village quest. Um, but, yeah, if you can, you can obviously kill him. That would be ideal. So somehow I did. I am uh, happy for that. Hey! So, Moran Staffs, uh -huh, Commendation, Moran Brace, Sturdy Fang, why not? Courage and Prosperity. Yes, I would like to say thank you very much. So, this has been a long journey since like, episode 1 till now. That's like 30 something episodes, I can't remember. And, there we go. This is, oh, nothing found. This is actually like the base story campaign of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd completed. Ah, Hunter, welcome back. I just heard you succeeded and uh, you never cease to impress me. Keep up the good work. E yep, but I have another quest. Oh, oh, this one. Right. Oh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> this quest, right, this quest. This is the pain in the ass quest. No, not this one. This one. No, is it this one? No, it's not this one. Wait, then what's the quest that you want me to do? Wait, do I actually have to fight Gen Moran again? No, I cleared it. What? What? I don't know what she's on about, but uh, maybe the translations are off or something, I don't know, but... In any case, as you can see... Um, yeah, I basically cleared off all the main quests in, um, from Village 1, no, actually not 1, did I even clear 1? Yeah, okay, fine, some of 1 and then some of 2, yep, the main ones are 1, two, one through 6 and even the urgent quest. So this is it, all the village quests, main village quests, done. Yep, and that sort of concludes my series? I don't know, I mean... Doing multiplayer would be nice as well, it would be interesting, and uh, we are actually still within the low rank 
low, the set low ranks of uh, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. So it would be nice if I could... I really want to show you guys more about the high rank and stuff. And uh, all, the, all the different upgrades you can get for the Yukumo farm as well. And really the one thing I like about Monster Hunter, the franchise, is that even after you finish the campaign, there's still so much more. Like, there's still so much more you can do. Like, um, they don't squeeze everything into the campaign. You can go on after that. You can be a stronger hunter. You definitely isn't. By all means, you can stop. You can, you know, you've technically finished the campaign. Nothing else more. But um, you can also do more. You can figure out. You can go and find out who is the mysterious monster that you saw in the cutscene at the very beginning, etc. And that will obviously be Amaterasu. No, not Amaterasu. What am I saying? <sighs> Amatsugamatsuchi. Yes, Amatsugamatsuchi. So, yeah. There's so much more you can do, and uh, I really want to try and show everyone as much as I can, but um, I, I believe I didn't actually manage to get to complete my sentence earlier. It was that I would have to take a hiatus, because I would like to take a hiatus for a short time, at least, until, until my school is... my semester is over. Um, I'm currently in the middle of the semester, things are getting a bit more ramping up in terms of, you know, difficulty and all the content and assignments and stuff. I'm trying my best to keep up. And I must say, it's been a joy to do this series so far. Um, doing the multiplayer hunts are great as well. So tell me what, what would you like to see more of? I mean, it would be good if you could leave a comment below, you know, drop a mail in my Twitter or Tumblr, whatever. So I'll leave my Twitter and Tumblr in the description below. Um, you can also, you know, just leave a comment below, tell me what we'd like to see. And I'll try my best to accomplish that. But by no, by no means, like, I can't guarantee it to be a weekly thing or... Maybe, maybe at best it might be a bi-weekly thing? Is it not bi-weekly? What am I saying? It might be a fortnightly thing. It definitely can't be a bi weekly thing anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try my best. Uh, just let me know. And that is it. This is um, officially, I conclude the series for single player hunts. But, well, there's always the multiplayer and uh, getting the high ranks and all that nonsense. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for your support, for those that subscribed, put a like and commented. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all again soon, somewhere, online, on the, on this video, on the screen, something. <laughs> In any case, enough bullshit chatting. So, have a great one, happy hunting, goodbye.